Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really easy recipe. It's not even really a recipe, but you guys are going to love it because it's simple and easy. But the most exciting thing about today is that I have not one, not two, but three copies of the new How Not to Diet book by Dr. Michael Greger. It isn't even out yet. It's going to be released on December 10th. Um, but I got a pre-advanced copy and it is fantastic. So if you'd like to win, I have three copies of it that I can give away for this giveaway. And um, it's just such a great book. I've loved it. I'm just at night. I'm going through it. It's fantastic. So I'm so excited that three of you guys are going to be able to get the new book. And so at the very end, I'll have details on how to enter. But it's just such a great resource. If you know me, then you know that I love all of the work that Dr. Michael Greger has done from nutritionfacts.org. It's a nonprofit resource for research on evidence-based nutrition, and everything on their website is free. They have hundreds and hundreds, maybe even thousands of videos by now on evidence-based nutrition. And so I'll have a link to his website. He has a podcast. He has a few books. Um, if you've read the How Not to Die book, it's fantastic. It's on audio, too. Um, he has the cookbook, and now he has How Not to Diet. So really recommend you guys check this out. And again, three of you guys are going to go home with one of these coffees. So I'm really excited. So you want to stay tuned to the end to see how to enter. For today's recipe video, it is like super easy. We're making mashed potatoes and mashed sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving. And so this recipe is good all year round. Um, but I went ahead and did the cooking of the potatoes ahead of time so you guys didn't have to watch me. It's four cups of, I did um, Yukon gold potatoes, but you could use any kind of potatoes that you like. I did four cups that I've cut up and cubed. I boiled them in water until I could pierce um, the potatoes with a fork and they're nice and tender. I left the skins on for the regular potatoes just because added nutrition and I don't mind, but you can of course peel them or um, leave the skins on, personal preference. Um, for the sweet potatoes, again it's four cups of cooked sweet potatoes. I just roasted them in my oven and then I did take off the skins in the sweet potatoes though because they're a little bit um, not as soft as the regular ones that I find. So for sweet potatoes, I did take the skins off, but regular ones, I left them on. Okay. This recipe is so simple. It's only two ingredients besides the potatoes. Um, what I like to do is I like to get a potato masher. Like I said, I drain the water. They're cooked. And I like to add half a, half of a tablespoon of white miso. Um, so I have one for each. This is my sodium. If you don't have it, you can leave it out. This is just what I like to use instead of salt. Um, you can totally leave it out if you want. And then I have an unsweetened um, almond milk that I'm going to use today. Make sure it's unsweetened and unflavored. Do not put vanilla any kind of um, dairy-free milk in this, it'll be gross. Make sure it's <laughs> unsweetened and unflavored. I like to do around two-thirds of a cup for this, and I find that it really helps make it nice and creamy. So you just pour everything in, and with a potato masher, you get a little arm workout. And you can add less or more of the non-dairy milk, depending on what you like, but two-thirds of a cup really kind of is the perfect amount for us. And you can make this any time of the year you want mashed potatoes. Um, we love this. Actually, tonight we're having some lentil chili, and I'm going to put this at the bottom and then put that lentil chili on top, which is going to be so yummy. But just keep mashing it until you can't see the miso, until your potatoes are nice and incorporated, and it will resemble mashed potatoes. <laughs> um, and like I said, you can go a little bit less on that non-dairy milk if you'd like. This is just the perfect consistency for us that we really like to give it that creamy mashed potato feel without it being too dry. And so you just want to keep mashing. That miso really gets incorporated well and miso is kind of a it's kind of like a yellow brownish tint to the white miso so you can see it which is really nice to make sure you've really incorporated it well. So I'll show you guys um, up close what it looks like, but this takes only like minutes to make after you have everything cooked. 
So I love this. You can double this recipe really easily for a large family get together. You can add anything else you'd like. If you want to add any other seasonings, if you want to add garlic powder, onion powder, or anything else to yours, this is just a really nice base. And try it with the potato skins on. Um, just extra nutrition. And I think with the regular potatoes, it's really easy palate to take besides this, you know, instead of the sweet potatoes that the skin's a little bit tougher. So we always, and it's less work too. Who else hated peeling potatoes for Thanksgiving as a child? That was always my job. And um, I'd always have to take a break because my hands cramp from doing so many. So just leave it on for this. All right. So this looks really good. Just to show you guys, and I'll show you a picture up close, but it looks nice and like whipped and creamy, and you don't have to put any butter. There's no non-dairy butter. There's no regular butter. It's just that unsweetened dairy milk and miso and potatoes. So really simple and easy and a favorite. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'll show you guys a look with my camera. Um, let's move on to the sweet potatoes now. We love sweet potatoes. There's all different kinds of versions of them. You can try Hanna, Japanese, um, so many different kinds. So just find one that you like. And again, it's just the half a tablespoon of miso. You can leave it out, you can put it in, whatever you like. And I have two thirds cups of that unsweetened, unflavored um, non-dairy milk. So I just like to do this one with a fork because I've already peeled off all the skins. And then trying to do this so it doesn't make a mess. But slowly, I like to add a little bit at a time. And you'll see that the milk kind of gets sucked up by the potatoes. And again, it's the same amount, four cups to four cups for the two-third cups. And you can add more or less. You can also add cinnamon to this. Or if you wanted to do something else to this version, we are huge, well, I am a huge sweet potato fan. My husband, not so much. He pretty much likes sweet potatoes only in our chocolate pudding form. Um, but I love it, and um, it's just great. So, again, just keep mixing, and you'll see your potatoes get a little bit of a lighter color, which is great. And, again, it kind of resembles that whipped. And so also if your family isn't a huge sweet potato fan, you can try it with this. I feel like it makes it creamier than just regular, but went ahead and add all of it. And you can also do this so many different ways. You can make this into a souffle. You can do lots of different steps, but you just really want to keep stirring. It might look like soup for a second, but just keep stirring until it's all soaked up. Just makes it creamy without any of the fat, which is awesome. All right. So, like I said, two-thirds cups makes it this beautiful color. It doesn't look, like, runny. You know, if it looks like you've added too much, um, just keep really mixing it. It will soak up. And, again, you can add, like, a little bit at a time and find the right consistency that you like. If these are not salty enough for you, you can add more miso. If you find them too much, add less. You can kind of tweak it. Again, you have to do your taste buds. Everyone's different. Um, since doing this for almost four years now, my taste buds have definitely changed from the first Thanksgiving I went plant-based. Um, so, you know, you just want to keep going and find what you like. But... They're done. So that was a really fast two ways to make mashed potatoes and mashed sweet potatoes. But I just love it and really excited for dinner now. And so let's get to the good stuff. So how are you going to win your How Not to Diet book? So you are going to check out my description box below. I'll again have all the links to um, Dr. Gregor's podcast, his website, his YouTube channel, he has tons of hours of free information for you to devour. And my favorite way of um, listening to the How Not to Die book is getting the audio version or even putting all of his um, YouTube videos on kind of like a special playlist and I play it in the car while I'm driving. So just a little tip. Um, but the How Not to Diet book, 
three of you guys are going to be winners. So if you go in the description box below, there is a Google form. Fill it out. It'll ask you your full name, your email address. Um, the winner will be picked at random, and there'll be three winners. And um, you'll have like 48 hours to respond back if you're the winner. If not, I'll pick again. Um, and yeah, anyone all around the world, this is open to. Um, and then you'll have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then there's my Facebook page and my Instagram page. So make sure you're subscribed to everything. You can even leave your, your handle or your screen name for proof. Um, it just really helps me out being a member of our community on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So you guys don't miss anything I post in like future, you know, giveaways. But I hope you guys enjoy this. If you are not a winner, make sure you get Dr. Gregor's How Not to Diet book. It comes out December 10th. It's a keeper. It's packed full of so much information. And it's, you know, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like, you know, the smartest person ever. But um, I can definitely get through it and read. And it's all, you know, he breaks it down where it's not super overwhelming scientific that you can't understand it, which is very appreciated and I loved. So I hope you guys will enter. I hope you guys make these recipes. If you make the mashed potatoes or sweet potatoes recipe, you know, take a picture, send it to me. Let me know how you like it. Let me know what you did different. Make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and I'll see you guys very soon for next one. Bye.